All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be running it up with my Season 3 FTAC Recon build. This thing has received various buffs over the past couple seasons, and it's kind of fallen under the radar because it's not exactly the easiest weapon to use. What we're going to be doing today is kind of turning this a little bit aggressive, but it's keeping it in that semi-auto mode to keep the maximized damage. Let's get into it. Let's start right here with an optic where I'm going with the Cronin Mini Pro. This is one of the attachments that I would say is a preference. You don't necessarily have to run this one if you want to swap over to something like a rear grip or a stock. You can feel free to do so. But personally, I do like to run a reflex sight here. And the precision sight picture is where I seem to find the most success. And that's going to be negative 2.32 towards your aim down sight speed, negative 2.25 towards far. For a laser sight, you want the Schlager Peck Box IV. That's going to give you just aim down sight speed with zero cons to running it with the recent nerfs to the laser sights and their visibility the fss olev is no longer really a good option especially for slower paced weapons as your laser is going to be extremely visible out windows and whatnot tuning is going to be negative 0.50 towards sprint to fire speed negative 51 towards your aim down sight speed now for the muzzle you want the shred cp90 for both vertical and horizontal recoil control i'm sure you've used this thing you know it has quite a bit of kick to it but this does seriously help the cause tuning is negative 0.23 towards aim down sight speed plus 0.35 towards the gun kick control down here to the underbarrel you want the vx pineapple grip because it's going to primarily help with that vertical vertical kick on the weapon along with overall steadiness as far as aim walking and then of course some hip fire accuracy statistics but that's definitely my favorite underbarrel for this weapon tuning is negative 0.41 towards hip walking speed and then we got negative 0.19 towards the aim down sight speed and the last attachment is the 15 round mag you do need those extra bullets 10 is definitely not enough and i said this in the video i really hope that at some point they add another weapon to this platform where this weapon can get something like a 20 or even 25 round mag i think it'll make it much better uh but the 15 round mag is definitely necessary as i said i know this is not exactly the easiest weapon to use in the game but if you're a highly accurate player and can kind no play with some patience this thing's an absolute monster and it's a must try weapon or if you're just looking for camos i highly recommend this one as well make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know what you think of the f -Tac recon are you a fan or are you not a fan make sure you guys also hit the like and subscribe button as always let's get over to some fortress hope you guys enjoy so we have a weapon that it's not the easiest on the planet to use in Modern Warfare 2, but with good accuracy, this thing's a monster, and that's the FTAC Recon. I compared it a lot to the Tempest Torrent, but then the Tempest Torrent got nerfed, and I immediately, well, changed my mind. It has a very fast fire rate. The only downside of the thing is literally the straight up ammo capacity is the problem with the weapon if you can find a way i saw you if there's a weapon in the future that's going to somehow help this ammo capacity this thing's gonna be gross wait what? he spawned behind me he spawned behind me and then i spawned behind him love that we're gonna turn this game into a banger i just got that feeling it's just gonna take a little bit of patience i can't exactly rush at people you kind of gotta play methodical once you figure out how to play methodical with it you'll be in some good shape they know we're back here so i'm gonna have to play this a little smart There we go. I'm gonna hit my UAV again. Got him back. Too close. The enemy's taking the lead. We're gonna have to find a way to break through here. Covering your six. Team did a pretty good job. I'm actually having quite an awful game, if I'm being honest. Like, this is not, not very good. Oh, 
but the game's not over. And because the game's not over, I do have a little bit of faith here that it can be turned around. We got an advanced UAV. There's a guy behind us here. Another guy behind us here. Is he coming this way? No, he's going all the way around. That was a big advanced UAV because I bet you I would have run right into that guy's line of sight. I would put money that I that I would. Another guy behind me. They all spawn behind me. That's kind of rough. There's kind of decoy grenades everywhere, and I'm not sure. Got the sniper. Hmm. Dropping ammo here. Enemy is down. With my advanced UAV gone, this makes things significantly. More difficult. I'm on a brutal. Hold on. We just gotta play this right. Okay. Let's hit this. They destroyed my Overwatch healer really quick. Oh, I got that, Kobe. And we got a UAV. Point relocating. Stand by. MGB, stand by. And MGB. Super stoked I was able to turn that around. Because like I said, I was having a pretty awful game overall. Like it just was not on pace for what I'm normally doing, you know? He came back for me. He's got his stupid little riot shield on his back. Okay, we saw him. Let me just back. ran into my bullets. Sure. When you're fighting a raw, and a raw is spraying, there's not much hope there. We got 50. Let's see if we can pump it up, maybe 10 more kills. I don't know if that's possible. I'm getting drop shotted by fire freaking LMGs. Not exactly what I consider to be a good time, but. I gotta hit nuke. I wasn't able to bump it up. I just saw him jump out. Yeah, dead shot. You can hold that for me, bro. You got your stupid little riot shields. Only 54, but it is an MGB nonetheless. GG's.